Hello everyone, <clears throat> Rod here from Rod Kutzart and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising Weekly Tower reading July 16th to July 22nd 2018 So let's see what awaits Gemini during that particular week Now the first card representing the topic of their week is going to be the High Priestess Then we do have the core of the situation here which is going to be the Seven of Swords Afterwards, we do have the challenges that Gemini sh needs to kind of like face during that particular week. That will be the Ace of Pent, uh, the Ace of uh, Wands, and finally we have a sense into that reading with the Ten of Swords showing up the guidance that it is about that it is given to you through ta through tarot. So what happens is the core of the situation, Gemini, that will be the Seven of Swords and uh, it does look like that you are going to stand up for your personal rights in a certain way, either into court or either against, uh, you know, your partner into relationship or against your boss. It's uh, generally that card into that particular uh, in that particular position, especially next to the challenging Ace of Wands. It does speak that uh, you really raise your voice and... Um, Kind of like uh, deny the, 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 the position that you are finding yourself in right now, probably because either into your career you are uh, treated unfairly or into your relationship your partner is um, stepping on your toe here and it's kind of crossing a certain lines. That week is going to be where you will make an, an attempt to set the things right and to restore the balance once again either into your career or either into your relationship. Now the topic however with the high priestess is that uh, not much things can be done during the week and that is also displayed with the ace of wands in so challenging position and when the ace of wands is in challenging position it speaks that not much of a stir can be ex exerted in, in, in the ongoing events alright so it's kinda like this week is going to be very slow and uh, in, a, in a certain way very stifling <clears throat> Because even though you do have the ideas how to fix the things which are going on around you, either with your work or with your relationship, um, the um, not the consequences, but um, you know the means are not going to be there, or not the entire means that you need are not going to be there. And that being said, this week uh, with the topic here as the high priestess, it is best for you to uh, to put more deliberations upon how should you, how you should approach the situation rather than actions. All right. And uh, when we when we see, talk about the deliberations here with the high priestess, uh, that card points that you Gemini's has to have to listen only to yourself and to none others, because the high priestess, when you usually um, <clears throat> listen to someone else's advices, uh, especially with the seven of uh, with the seven of swords as a, a core card here. It means that you will listen to the wrong persons, uh, to the wrong people advices, or to the wrong to the wrong person's advices. Now the, the best possible solution as the high priestess kind of like uh, implicate is that you can only find through silence and this is by silence, silencing the, um, the, uh, the, the, the your surrounding excuse me and listen only to yourself and to your inner voice which could count as an intuition in that particular case. So basically you Gemini's just Follow your intuition, guys, and whatever you uh, kind of like think and what you think also will be totally in synchrony with what you feel needs to be done, then uh, this is the right course of action. Now, because we do have, however, the Seven of Swords and especially the Ten of Swords as a guidance card here, things are not going to go without any conflicts, all right? Because probably because uh, when you kind of like raise your voice and when you step for your personal rights, uh, you are depriving someone else from certain benefits which are not his benefits to take advantage of, all right? So uh, basically, uh, the result of all that is going to be uh, you being in a more advantageable, advantageable position after these um, conflicts or rather like uh, confrontations are, are settled down. But uh, one more thing I will say here with the Ten of Swords, whenever the confrontation happen and whatever, you know, the uh, the arguments 
uh, raised, uh, you need to be ready to uh, force a new era into these kind of communications and into these relationships with irrevocable decision here and if it is needed irreversible actions because things cannot be any longer like they are right now and something needs to be done and that week will be just the beginning of the end of the, your disadvantageable position that you have found yourself until this very moment. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 16th to July 22nd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.